the day the U.S. officially stops holding ZTE hostage will be the day China and the U.S. will start implementing the Washington Agreement. But some Americans are not satisfied with the agreement. They believe that while China has pledged to a large increase in U.S. imports, there is no binding mechanism in place, as if to say China hasn't made an advance payment. They are hoping to score a complete victory by forcing China to surrender. These people have sorely overestimated the U.S.'s ability. Last weekend, the U.S. got the best deal it could get from China, and vice versa. The U.S. and China markets are about the same size. The U.S. is not holding all the cards to make China submit completely. The U.S. semiconductor industry is strong and could easily collapse ZTE. But more than half of all the U.S. metro chips are sold to China. Where would they sell them otherwise? The U.S. can't sanction China like it does Iran. Any Americans still longing to punish China are certainly the ones with low IQs and EQs, or just politicians looking to curry favor.